Hey guys, Gameboy38 Yonder here. Once again, we're back in Beam, taking a look at another CRC beta. We're gonna start doing these now, I guess. Uh, first of all, the JBeam 4X has been more or less finalized, so it shouldn't do that weird uh, bed spike thing or lean over thing that we saw in the overview video before. And most importantly, the load times for switching out parts and first loading up the truck has been essentially negated. It's all gone. It's been fixed. And let's take a look here. Before we try to load up Ukraines, and let's see what happens here. This is the first time I'm loading these types of Ukraines on the front. And you can see the load time was instant. There's no load times anymore. Fantastic. And we get to keep the amazing look of, you know, the new material editing and stuff. I'm going to switch it back to Michelin's. So how did this happen? How did they do this? Well, what they had to do was use a special tool, actually, in order to get all the textures to be DDS format instead of PNG format. Now, what that means is uh, normally, like, you know, side-by-side, -side, same rendering technique done, uh, DDS would give a slight quality decrease and actually increase the file size. But with this new way that materials are drawn, it's actually an increase in quality and a decrease in file size from what I can tell. So it's the best of both worlds, and you don't get the loading. It's amazing. Mad props to Jedi Presence, who found that one out. I'm pretty sure he found it out and did all the converting. Uh, this makes it much more likely that in the future, the CRD mod will uh, become like this as well, look just as good. I do not know when, how, or what update, though. That would probably be a future update, not 2.5. Because that's such a big change in and of itself, you know. Anyways, back to Axe here. Let's go ahead and crash off the bedside panels like we did in the last video. And see if we can get them to break off proper or if there's still some work to be done yet. I think only the Brutus body needs work left to go. I think all the others are pretty much done. There we go, we break off the bedside, get it loose, and we get the ladders off. And there's no spiking of any kind or any weird panel behavior. Very nice. Now they still need to get the body supports in, that'll be the last big step I think. Getting them breakable and everything. I'm not sure if they will be breakable this initial launch or if that will be a future update. I really don't know. And this is actually beta 10. Beta 9 was getting all the presets uh, info files uh, correct. And this beta 10 uh, actually uh, just gets rid of some duplicate presets. And I think it introduces a small bug, so if you see anything, no texture, uh, just know that that will be fixed. I haven't showed it like directly or mentioned it directly, so it'll be your best guess what part has no texture. I'll be honest, it is hard to even notice. Yeah, take a look at this. If you haven't uh, seen yet, got the mini dual air filters. I'm not sure if that changes performance or anything. I doubt it does. But it just looks cool. But yep, that is X. It seems to be more or less done. Very well done. Let's go ahead and send her off one more time here. Over she goes. Alright. And the next truck we're going to take a look at here, brand new. Let's click CRC mod. It'll take some getting used to, I'm sure. We have Wrecking Crew, yep, this wasn't seen in the overview video, that's because it is brand new. This truck is a lot quieter than 
the last trick because it's got the regular magna flows but look at the magna flows they just look so good everything about this mod looks so good and i'll be honest when i first saw it i thought it was too shiny but then they said they're using a new rendering rendering technique that was introduced in version 0.2 whatever of beam and g i'm like oh okay that's much bigger than i thought it was i thought it was just too high specular but no everything is legitimately drawn out uh, physically now. It's amazing. You can also see the transmission texture is fixed. I don't know what happened for it to be orange in the overview video, but that's fixed now. I always like to bring up the fact that something is fixed so that people are like, oh yes, they're actually going back and fixing stuff instead of just adding new stuff without fixing the broken stuff. There is we kind of care. Broke something. I'm not sure what we broke. Oh dear, we broke a top three or four link. Oh, there it goes. It's gone. It's out of here. I love how it throws out a four link bar. Can happen sometimes on CRD, but CRC happens more often, I guess, because they're longer. They're easier to be grabbed by the tires. That's my best guess, anyways. Well, grabbed by the tires, you know what I mean. Launched by the tires when they break off. Oh, dear. This is not too good. Wrecking crew is wrecked. Go ahead, give it one more run. Tier C. At first I thought the early October release target was a little bit premature to call that, but seeing it now, like how they fixed the load time problem. How they got the J-beam working again. How it basically looks done. It just needs like body supports and that one tiny no texture thing that's going on. And maybe some extra presets. I don't know. One thing I can show that I haven't shown before is that there is the regular gearbox if you don't like the three speed. If we go to the transmission here, we got three speed, two speed, and the power glide, two speed. So if you're used to the old gearbox, this is what you'd do. Uh, we need to, oh, look at that, it's already done. So if you're used to second gear and drive gear, you can get that back and drive just like you did before. But honestly, the three speed I think is better. I'm pretty sure the three speed is coming to main CRD mod as well. Ouch. So you no longer accidentally shift up too high into drive. The odd crumple zone. I'm not sure if that'll be poked at all. At least with shadows on, uh, you can tell something's being rendered different. I'm not sure if that's a byproduct or if that's intentional or if that'll be fixed. Maybe it's nothing at all and I'm just being bad. Anyways, I think that'll be about it for this beta test video. Beta 10 and I guess beta 9 as well. Kind of both in one. Showing all the fixes and the new truck wrecking crew. That'll be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, you can leave a like, favorite, comment, share. And of course, don't forget to subscribe as well. Thanks, Gimbal. I'll see you all in the future. And oh yeah, before I forget. If you put in the three-speed gearbox from a truck that had a two-speed gearbox, you will probably need to hit reset 
tune in the tuning menu. Otherwise, you may get both second and third gear as both one to one, and you won't get any speed increase from shifting to third. So yeah. Goodbye, everybody.